Hello there, welcome to Pace Event. In this video, I am going to review Send Now, which is one all in one cold email outreach software that will help you to improve the email deliverability and engagement rate of your email marketing. It's an alternative of lame list, mix max, and outreach. They are saying that Send Now is a cold email outreach tool with feature for enhanced deliverability and cold email automation. They are running their lifetime deal on AppSumo and see license share one pricing is 59 USG. Here you can have 3000 monthly email contact, unlimited workspace, unlimited team members, unlimited contact stories and unlimited email sending. So you are getting here unlimited email sending guys. But if you need more monthly email contact then you have to upgrade to license tier 2 or 3. And see they have email verification but this email verification quota will not be renewed in every month or every year it's one time so i think you should not focus on this number of email verification because you have to buy their add-on if you want to verify emails by using this send now but if you need email verification then i will recommend you to get this one rion email verifier this one is really great uh, in case of email verifier and this number of total email verification credit will be renewed per day so it's a, re um, a really great uh, platform in the in case of uh, email verification actually but other than they are sent now as you can see on send now you can have unlimited email sending which is awesome now without further doing let's go to the dashboard of send now and let's explore how things works and how it can be helpful for us see guys this is the dashboard of send now but um, before exploring the dashboard what do you have to do you have to connect your email account at first so just go to this section email account and from here just click here on this connect new email and they have um, more option as you can see you can connect your google you can connect your microsoft you can connect custom imap or smtp also they have uh, bulk uh, connector but i'll connect here one gmail just click here on this google uh, you will get the step by step instruction whatever you can connect here just click here uh, on what you want to connect and see they have two options uh, i will use this one i like to use this one google app password so i'll just select it and here i have to insert my name email and app password now how can you generate this password let's say this is my email as you can see here this is my email and from here how you can um, create this app password what do you have to do you have to go to this section and from here you have to enable this imap generally it's disabled but you have to enable this imap and you have to save it from here and after enabling what you have to do you have to go to this main setting as you can see and from here just search app password app password and then you will get the section where you can set up this password as you can see there have one option app passwords and then just click here and then you have to insert your Mm, password maybe here to verify you know, whether it's you or not okay so it's done i think let it be done yes now from here you have to create one uh, app right so you have to give one name let's say the app name will be send now app and then click on create and whenever you will click on this create it will provide you one password you have to copy this password from here and then you have to go to send now and here you have to insert your email as you can see fly gardening at the rate of gmail.com and your name let's say alex anything can be your name and this name will be shown on your email so um, make sure that it is the right name that you want to see on your email and then in the password section you have to paste the password that you have gotten from this app password section keep in mind guys and then click on this connect my google and then it will be connected i think as you can see connection successful and then click on ok so in this way you have to connect your emails you can connect your emails on send now in this way in this email account section and you can actually connect as many as email you want to connect from here hope you get idea and then if i go to the dashboard from here as you can see here this is the dashboard and it is a brand new dashboard actually nothing is available here so what we have to do we have to create one campaign just click here on this create campaign and then here give a name of the campaign let's say um, feed camp one this is the name anything can be right and then click on this create campaign and then what you have to do you have to import your contact share so you can import from csv file just by clicking here also there have one option import existing uh, list if you have existing list then you can import them as you can see i have already some existing list you, uh, i will use this one and then click on this add to campaign and then these contacts will be added to my campaign and, and as you can see here these are my 
um, contact list actually this is email and this is the fast names so in this way you have to add your contacts at first and then click on this next step here you have to select your um, sequence or you have to create your sequence now you can create your sequence from a sketch also uh, you can save template if you have any saved template these templates will be shown here and from here in one click you can import your pre-made templates but there have one another option which is create using ai which i will use right now just click here on this create using ai and then here write your prompt let's say this is my prompt i want to promote an email marketing software named sendy now at first i want to build relationship with the clients and then i want to offer them the software let's say i want to build good relationship with the client and then i want to offer them the software so let's say this is my prompt anything can be your prompt just describe what you want to do on this email marketing sequence and then click on this write my um, sequence for me just click here and then it will start to write the sequence as you can see here it's writing we have to wait some time so guys the sequence has been written and it has taken maybe uh, 20 seconds actually and here this is a step one as you can see here this is a step one then this is a step two then this is a step three so they have generated here total three step but if you need more step it's possible to add just click on this add a step and then see here you can write your email hope you get idea guys now uh, let me show you step one as you can see here this is a step one and here as you can see uh, this is the subject line and you can add variable in subject you can add fast name or you can add last name as you can see here this will be the variable so these things will be added but let's say i do not want it um, let's say super uh, I, I want to write it like that hello hello and then the first name so hello and then i will write first name again okay, not like that here first name i will just cut it and then here hello first name that means the people's name will be addressed and then here the remaining subject will be written so in this way you can insert here different variables and in the same way you can uh, write your email body actually you can add here image you can add here hyperlink you can add here different variable as you can see first name last name email title company let's say you want to um, um, add the company name so just click here and then click on company and see this company name will be added here but i do not want it so i will keep it like that so in this way you can uh, create different variable and you can use these variables here and then you can write the email sequence here actually hope you get idea and um, from here you have to select after how many days you want to send another email as you can see let's say at first this email will be sent and then let's say you want to wait two days so wait for two days and then what will be done this is step two so let's say after two days this email will be sent and then let's say you want to wait three days so just uh, increase it three days and see after sending this step two email three days will be waited and then this step three will be sent hope you get idea in this way step by step as many as sequence you need you can write here with variables hope you get idea guys and then click on this next step and then what you have to do you have to schedule these emails as you can see you can create from template uh, that means you have to have the pre made template actually they will not provide any template you have to save this template as you can see if i click here on this first one they will say that no schedule template yet because i haven't saved any template here yet so what i have to do i have to create from scratch just click here on this create from scratch and then it will redirect us to our scheduled section and from here we can schedule our um, journey or our sequence actually let's say i do not want to send any email on wednesday so just disable it and you can here insert the start time in time you can change the time zone from here so everything you can change and if everything okay you can go to this next step also if you want to save this schedule template as a template that you can use later also in one click you can save it from here but i'm not saving i'll just click here on this next step then it will redirect us to the sitting section as you can see here this is sitting so now from here um, see here maximum email to send per day you can increase or de decrease it let's say i want to send maximum uh, maybe 50 emails per day you can increase or decrease it uh, the max email per day must be greater than uh, or equal to 100 okay so number of email per day must be greater than or equal 
100 so let's say 100 and then maximum new contacts to prioritize per day let's say 100 you can increase or decrease these things you can open tracking so you have to set up the custom domain from here as you can see you have to set up the custom domain and you can set up it from the setting section that i will show you after some time and then you can send email as plain text so if you enable it then as plain text this email will be sent actually um, okay let me enable this one let me disable this one and then let me enable this one yes and then you can enable unsubscribe link also uh, so yes it's right to enable okay i hope you get idea in this way you have to um, set up the setting and then click on final step and whenever you will click here on this final step then here see they're saying that please ensure your campaign setup is complete and okay let's see your campaign setup is complete and then click on launch this campaign and then it will be done but see this button is not working why because in our sitting something is missing let me go back to the sitting yes we haven't added our email that means from whose email we want to send the uh, emails we haven't selected it so i'll just click here on this add sender emails and from here you have to select your email and in my account i have only one email but if you have multiple email you will get all your emails here and you can select from who is email you want to send this email and then click on this add to campaign and then it will be done and now uh, what we can do we can go to this final step and let it be go to the final step yes yes as you can see now if you if you just click here on this launch this uh, campaign this campaign will be launched uh, so are you sure let's say yes launch so it will be launched as you can see here it's launching so it will take few minutes actually and they are saying and we can save and we can safely leave this space and we will launch your campaign in the background okay so they will launch the campaign after some time it will take some time actually hope you get idea in this way by using this send now software you have to launch your cold email campaign so guys here this is the dashboard in the dashboard you can see number of email it has sent total open num numbers, total replied numbers, bounced numbers, unsubscribed rate, interested rate. So as this dashboard is new, nothing is visible here. After some time, it will be visible maybe. And see here, I have created three campaign total. And from this three campaign, only this one is active. So uh, you can see which campaigns are active and which campaigns are not active from here also hope you get idea about this dashboard section after that they have contact if i go to this contact section here you will be able to see all your contacts as you can see all your contacts will be shown here you can manage your contacts from here just click here on this manage and here you can insert other parameter about this uh, contacts you can insert the last name first name email company name title note and status let's say verified you can change the status and then you can click on this update contact okay the last name let's say um alex c and then click on update contact and then this contact will be updated hope you get idea after that they have campaigns from here also you can see all your campaigns and you can create campaign from here also in the same way that i have shown you previously after that they have inbox whenever your emails will be landed to uh, anyone's inbox and whenever they will reply all your replies will be seen from here and you can contact to them from this inbox section you do not have to go to your main email you can manage all the replies from this dashboard as in my account i haven't got any replies yet that's why it's empty hope you get idea after that they have sequence template if you have any sequence template it will be saved here and i uh, hope you can remember guys we haven't saved our template we have created our template by using ai but if you have any pre-made template then this pre-made templates will be shown here or will be saved here you can create your templates here and you can save your templates here so that you can use them later after that they have email account section from where you can connect your emails i have already connected one email and i hope uh, you know now how you can connect the emails after that they have the sitting and here in the sitting section a lot of things are available let's say email verification credit this email verification credit will not be renewed on AppSumo plan it's one time credit as you can see here it's uh, one time credit on tier one it's 500 email verification one time and then what you have to do you have to purchase their credit 
as you can see 15 dollar 1000 uh, credit and 25 dollar 2500 uh, credits but i'll recommend you to get rion email verifier in case of email verification actually hope you get idea guys after that they have profile if i go to this profile section from here you can change your profile photo you can change your password etc uh, etc et actually and then they have workspace and you can create unlimited workspace on the send now lifetime deal as you can see unlimited workspace and you can actually differentiate different uh, business or different project by creating different workspace from here just click here on this create new workspace and then you will be able to create new workspace after that they have blacklisted email so if you have any blacklisted email you can add any email to your blacklist let's say i will add one email to my blacklist let's say this email i will add to my blacklist and see this email will be um, added to the blacklist so if on your contact list this email is available and the email will not be sent to this email because it is blacklisted from you you can upload your blacklisted emails in csv format also in bulk way if, if you have a lot of blacklisted emails after that they have blacklisted domain if you have any domain to who is domain you do not want to send any email you can um, blacklist your domain here just click here and then the domain let's say example dot com let's say this is your blacklisted domain just add it and then any email who will contain this domain uh, your emails will not be sent to these emails actually and then they have custom tag if you want to create any custom tag you can create custom tag from here and custom domain tracking you can create here just click here on this add custom domain tracking and then here insert your uh, cname there have step by step instruction you can insert these things also they have video guide just click here and then here as you can see the video guide you will get just follow this instruction i'm not showing you this process hope you get idea guys what you will get on this send now but um, the thing is they do not have any email warm-up feature and generally as i have seen on the cold email marketing software email warm-up feature um, are included but in this software i'm not getting any email warm-up feature also their um, email verification uh, credit is not unlimited or uh, will not renew every month or every year so this is two downside that i am getting on this um, send now otherwise it's good i think so these are the things if you think you need this type of cold email outreach software for your business or for your personal growth then you can get this send now lifetime deal from appsumo i'll give the url of this send now lifetime deal in the description of this video just go to the description of this video and get the 10% discount on this send now lifetime deal it's an affiliate link guys if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal i will get a small commission without costing you any additional money so if you think guys this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal and the last thing is visit our website www.pesivan.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vip lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thanks again for watching this video